Imagine the ocean as a giant liquid sandpaper machine. Every wave that crashes onto the shore carries energy, and that energy does work. It picks up tiny grains of sand, pebbles, and even larger bits of rock and carries them away. This movement of sediment is the heart of the erosion process. It's a natural cycle of removal, erosion, and deposition, where the sediment is dropped off somewhere else. A healthy coastline is in a state of dynamic equilibrium, where the amount of sand being removed is roughly balanced by the amount of sand being brought in by currents or rivers. But when that balance is tipped and more material is taken away than is deposited, the coastline begins to retreat. This process changes our shorelines in very noticeable ways. A wide sandy beach that was once perfect for a summer holiday might become narrow and steep, with waves breaking right up against the dunes or a seawall. Majestic cliffs made of soft rock or clay can be undercut by the waves, leading to dramatic collapses called landslides. You might see trees that once stood firmly on solid ground, now leaning precariously over the water with their roots exposed. Over time, these changes can be profound. Entire bays can be widened, headlands can be worn down into stumps, and islands can disappear completely. It's a powerful reminder that the map of our world is not static. It is constantly being redrawn by the forces of nature, with the ocean holding the pen. There are several key mechanisms through which the ocean erodes the land. One is called hydraulic action. This is the sheer force of the water itself. When a powerful wave smashes against a cliff face, it can force air into cracks and fissures in the rock. As the wave recedes, the trapped air expands with explosive force, weakening the rock and breaking it apart from the inside out. Another mechanism is abrasion, which is the sandpaper effect I mentioned earlier. Waves hurl sand, pebbles and boulders against the coastline, scouring and grinding it away like a tool. Then there's attrition, where the rock fragments and pebbles carried by the waves smash into each other, becoming smaller, smoother and rounder over time. This is why beach pebbles are often so smooth. Finally, some types of rock can be eroded through solution or corrosion. This happens when the seawater itself, which is slightly acidic, dissolves certain types of rock, like chalk or limestone. It's a chemical process, much like how a fizzy drink can slowly dissolve a sugar cube. All these processes, hydraulic action, abrasion, attrition, and solution, work together, often at the same time, to relentlessly sculpt and reshape our coastlines. The specific type of erosion that dominates depends on the energy of the waves and the type of rock or sediment that makes up the coast.